Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We have a special guest here. We're going to talk more about mortgages today. And I know you probably think, oh my gosh, how much more can we talk about mortgages? Well, you know what? There's a lot going on in the mortgage world today. And I want to make sure that we get all the details out to you every single week when we can. All right. So um, we have a new, a fresh new guest here with us today. Um, His name is Mike Bauer from Annie Mac Mortgage. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. That's yeah. good to hear. That's good to hear. Now, you're yep. fresh back from, you were out somewhere skiing recently. Yes. Where were you at? Park City, Utah. Park City, Utah. You almost yep. said Park City Mall, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been weird, right? Yeah. Like, where do you ski at Park City Mall? <laughs> um, Park City, Utah. I was out yeah. there. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, any snow? They got a ton, a ton of snow, snow. Yeah. over the holidays, but yeah. uh, it hadn't snowed for a little bit. And yeah. I hadn't skied in 32 years. Whoa. Yeah. Are your knees okay? <laughs> My knees are fine. My ribs actually. Are really? Still your a ribs? Sore. Yeah. Still why, sore. why your ribs, you think? Well, I from think turning. When you, um, when you fall really hard, <laughs> uh, you, you, it hurts. It, yeah, it hurts. It hurts. And it, it, hurts. And it sometimes lingers for a, a week or so. Well, this is very ironic, yeah. and I, we're going to have to chat about this for a second. Yet, but I'm going skiing. Uh-huh. Saturday, okay, Where for the going? first time in 15 years, okay, okay, yep. and I'm very excited to see if my ribs hurt after <laughs> this experience. Uh, yeah, we're going up to Bear Creek, so we're just staying okay. local. Okay. You know, we're not yep. going to Park City. Um, yep. We're going, we're going local, but we're gonna. I'm gonna get lessons again, just in case. Yeah, uh, and and I'm and the kids are gone, and my wife is gone. Oh, so the, fun. funny story. My wife uh, went skiing years ago without me. It's before I met her. Yeah, she goes. They go up to Vermont and they get out there, and basically what they did is pushed her. Yeah, you know, and said okay, find your wings on the way down kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. On her way down, fell, tore her ACL, never skied again. Yep. Now she's skiing this Saturday, so I'm hoping her knee stays in, you know, intact and everything <laughs> is good. So uh, that's funny, though. But I'm, I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you didn't go th- over any triple diamonds or anything nope. like that. No, nope. I stayed on the green runs. Very good. Were terrifying to I me. bet. Yeah, I bet yeah, in Park City, still, it's, it's yeah. a little different than here. Yeah. But but by the end, I uh, I could see how this could be fun if I got oh, yeah, good at yeah. it, you know. But uh, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was. I'm that alive. Long. That's good. <laughs> that's good. So let's get into. Uh, I know you weren't thinking about mortgages much when you were out there, but we're going to talk about mortgages now because yeah. you're back and ready to go. So yeah. you had a couple topics here that you wanted to uh, talk about, and the, the the some what's the Fed rate? I mean, there's a lot of you know chatter and stuff about these Fed rates going up, and uh, I just wanted to get your take on that. What does it mean for mortgages? What does it mean for our economy coming up when it comes to mortgages? Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, the big buzz right now is that the Fed has to step in and inflation yeah. starting to get out of control. Yeah. What the Fed usually does is they raise the mm-hmm. federal funds rate, which is right. the rate that banks lend each other money at. Right now it's like zero. Right? Yeah. They met yesterday okay. and nobody really knew what they were going to do. They had a meeting and then they basically said, we're not going to touch it right now. Okay. So they didn't change it yesterday. Okay. Um, so, but they're going to. You but think. they're going to. They're going. To. Everyone's anticipating that they probably will raise it in March. But they also talked about um, they're going to ease out of buying mortgage-backed securities. So when the what does that happens, mean? Yeah. That is one we hear all the time. Explain what that means. Yeah. Uh, when COVID started. There was a crazy amount of uncertainty in lending and mm-hmm. the economy and all that stuff. So, so the Fed had took a stance at that point and they stepped in and they started buying mortgage-backed securities to kind of you know, cool everything off and right. make sure that the banks were still lending, everything yep. was going to go as, as planned. So their, their plan is to ease out of that. Yeah. Now, they haven't really done it yet, but that, that they're talking about, let's take this time from now till March that we're going to sort of ease away from uh, purchasing of bonds. Right, uh, and, right. And then they'll probably start raising rates. The, I heard this morning on my way here, 
probably we're looking at about five interest rate hikes uh, for this year. Which now that's be about for the Fed rate or for the interest rates the for what we're talking about mortgage rates. You're talking about Fed rate. The Fed rate, right? So the Fed. So where does that end rate. up going to? What does so that end up putting us at? It could be somewhere between one and a quarter and one and a half percent, which is still nothing. It's nothing. Yet. It's nothing. It's still because isn't historically historically speaking the Fed rate is it's still really low. It's extremely low. Right. Yep. yep. Yeah. Amazing. And that's why our savings accounts are are basically Zero. nothing. Yeah. It's like a 0.0025% yeah. return. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. nothing. That's interesting. So now that they're going to do that. So yep. does that mean every time that goes up that you're going to see an interest rate hike on mortgages? No. First of all, the, the minute that uh, the market knows that this is happening or this mm-hmm. is going to going to going to happen, they're already doing it, right? They're already, the, the bond market is already adjusting to basically this, this, mm-hmm. this happening. So it's already baked in. They're already kind of anticipating that all this stuff is going to happen. Right. And so it happens. Some days, because the bond market has already anticipated one thing, yeah. and then when they come out, the market might react that they didn't raise it as much as they thought. And right. then rates would go down that day. Right. Like it, so it's, you see, you would watch the news yep. and it says, oh, the Fed raised rates a half a percent and everyone thinks the mortgage rates have done that, but that's not true. Right. It's speculation. Some, or maybe sometimes they, they, they were anticipating a three quarter percent hike Got and it. rates actually would go down that day and it doesn't make any sense. And then the market's happy. Right. Then yes. things are good then at that point. Correct. A lot of it's, I guess, like people thinking, oh, this is what's going to happen. So the market prepares for the worst. Yep. And then the worst doesn't happen or it's just not quite as bad as they thought. And then everything kind of backs off. Yes. So it's a lot of like just knee jerk reaction kind of stuff, it Correct. seems like, which is typical of our our, our worlds. Yep. So so basically Fed rates are going to go up. We know that. And actually, it's good. I mean, that, that they can't yep. be this low forever. Right. I mean, there has to be a little bit of interest built in. To, for for the feds, I mean, it has to be yeah. money built in. Correct. So go ahead. What else? What else can you talk to me well, about? Well, I mean, so interest rates have have been going up. Yep. Um, Saw since that. Since January third, the rates have been going up, and you know, if you looked at the um, what the projections were, we look at the National Association of Realtors mm-hmm. says one thing. The Mortgage Bankers Association puts their two cents yep. in. Uh, they all had anticipated that by the end of twenty twenty two. That rates would be about three point seven five. That's exactly what average, I saw. Yeah, and it's funny. Like I and know we nope. also look at that keeping current matters, which is another. Yeah. Uh, also, Inman News. You know, there's all these publications. There's all these news places that basically do real estate and mortgage rates and stuff. And they all said the three point seven. But the funny thing is, we're already there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. That was so supposed does, to be at the end of the year. Yeah, I know. It's already started. It's it took like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, what yeah. does that mean? We're going to go up higher? What do you think? It's a great question. I'm not going to hold mean, you to this. Just yeah. No, that. I mean. All of the forecasts were saying yeah. it was going to be high threes, maybe four, but maybe it will go higher. I yeah. mean, inflation is a real thing. Um, Absolutely and, is. And it's one of those things that isn't good for anything. It isn't good for uh, the economy. They got to slow it down. And then, and this is one of the tools that they use to slow it down is, sure. is increasing rates. So, yep. so yeah, we'll it's see. It's like I, kind of putting the brakes on things, right? In a yeah. way, you know, yeah. I think that's, and I think, well, there's so much money that went out from stimulus and yeah. things like that. There's so much money went out and it devalued the dollar bill. And, and this is right. what happens. We get inflation. Correct. So it's, it's got to, it's got to equalize and, and hopefully yeah. it will. So you had on your list here, inflation. I mean, yeah. you know, so we're going to experience that this year, uh, yeah. both interest rates. Yep. Uh, we've been in, experiencing inflation on house prices. I can tell you that much. Right. Uh, last year we did 11 point some percent. I'm not sure what you're hearing on the mortgage end of things, what your yep. industry is saying, what are they seeing on mortgage wise uh, as far as increases in house prices? Do you guys yep. look at that stuff? We do. We do. I saw some, some things year over year, 18%, 20%, wow. depending on, on last on year where. or coming up you last mean? year, last year. Okay. Last yes. Year. Yes. We saw um, that too. I think with higher rates, um, they're they're talking about maybe slowing that down a yeah. little bit, so maybe you won't see as much of um, uh, of an increase. Yeah. But still anticipating that it's going to be a robust mm-hmm. real estate market. Values will continue to go up. They yep. have to. Yep. I mean, they almost Absolutely. have to with the amount of inventory well, that's out there, which is crazy. Do you know what, like, how, to, how many homes are for sale right today? Now? Well, last week it was 291. I did check it over the weekend and it was three, I think we're around 320. So it is inching up, which okay. is a really good sign. It was the lowest I've seen it was like 290 something, which was about two weeks ago. Okay. Um, but I think we're at 320, three something. And, right. but that's everything. That's new construction. Sometimes those models are not really built. They're just in there. Yep. That's, that is city. Okay. Yep. That is everything. So you start backing some of that stuff out and it's as far as just regular yeah. 
you know, uh, homes, it's not, there's not, not a whole many. lot. Not yeah. So percent. we got to see that number come up last year. The highest that I saw Mike, and I don't know if you heard about this, but around July or August, I saw it got up to around 500. It just tipped 500. It was like five something. And that is still extremely low. Yeah. I mean, we're used to, I mean, being in the business, it'll be 30 years this year in July. Um, we're used to 1500, 2000 inventory at any given time. Right. How, you know? how many, uh, roughly how many homes for s- like sell per month on average in this area? You know, it's funny. I don't know that stat. I just know that it, we're at a point six. So basically so the, the average like, sale time is yeah. like, it's like, um, two weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah pretty much. Weeks, yeah, yeah. It's about a little over two weeks. Yeah. It's point yeah. six of a, of a, of a month. Yeah. yeah. When normal, a normal healthy market is around three months. Yeah. Um, which basically is a good balance between buyer seller market. That's when you get basically a good, a good even market. So you probably need 1500 homes. <sighs> we need. Yeah. You're about right. Yeah. And there's 291. And yeah, that, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem, <laughs> a little bit of an inventory problem. And that's what I'm saying. That's why every time we do the show, I, no matter who I talk to, we talk about inventory yeah. and people probably get sick and tired of hearing about inventory, but that is, that is what it's at hand. And that's why the prices in Berks County went up 11.2% yeah. or whatever it was last year. So, Let's keep moving on. Affordability, <laughs> segue. Yeah. Affordability. Yep. I mean, you know, that's that's one of the things. And with rates going up, that changes. Yeah. Yes. I looked at these numbers uh, about a month ago when rates were like three and a quarter. Now they're like three point seven five. Let's say. Right. Okay. If you looked at fifteen years ago, so two thousand and six, mm-hmm. pretty good market right before you know um, the market was hot. Yeah. Um, the average home. Where I was looking at, which was the Lehigh Valley yeah. area, mm-hmm. was 185000 That was the median sale Not price. Not much different than here. At the time. Okay. Yeah. But interest rates were 6%. Okay. Interesting. Yep. So if I do the math on that, and assuming a 5% down payment, yeah. 6%, uh, the monthly principal and interest payment was $1,104. Got it. Got okay. it. Since then, the values have gone up like 40 some percent. Mm -hmm. And so now that same median home uh, would be selling for like 240, 250 or more something. (laughs) Um, Yeah. So I I use 260. Yeah. Okay. That's a good number. That's a good number. So 260,000 at 3.75 is $1,209. Wow. So it's like, wow, it's a hundred dollars more. Isn't that crazy? And then you take it. But that just shows you interest rate buying power. Correct. It just shows people right there the buying power of an in, of what an interest rate does. Yeah. It does not, it doesn't alleviate you from buying. It just changes what you're going to buy. Right. But if you just looked at, in your mind, you're were, you were thinking like, I can afford 180, yep. 200. And now you're looking at 260, 260 and you talk yourself out of it. It's really not much it's, more than no, it used to not. cost. It is because you got to look at the monthly payment. Yeah. And yeah. not only that, but in that amount of time, for so, so from 2006 to now, uh, if you look at the U.S. Census Bureau, they track like the median income. Yeah. This is uh, U.S. wide. I'm not sure if we drill down to yeah, yeah. You know, why I'm missing or Berks County or whatever, but uh, it, it's also gone up 41%. Like it, it's, it's crazy. So the incomes have increased 41%. So it's even. But- the monthly payment to buy that same median home has, has only gone up 10%. Yeah, so basically it's more affordable today It is f- to buy than it was back in 2006. It is, but it's so skewed because you yeah. see the prices and you're like, oh my God, I would yep. never pay that. Uh, that's just way too high. But you got to really all relative. drill down and see mm-hmm. what the actual payment is. Yeah. And you'll, you, I think you'll be surprised. And then think about what's going up even faster is rent. Oh, rent. Rent is, rent is actually crazy. Control. Yeah, I mean, you look yeah. at like around here, like a one bedroom apartment. Yeah. Uh, you're probably looking at, you know, if it's the fancy, you know, granite and all that stuff, you could be looking at uh, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars a month, right? You know, and if you're looking at two bedrooms or more, it starts to really go up there. Yeah. So rent has actually gone up. We we looked at these numbers uh, before. The rent has gone up more so than than the um, than purchasing has. If yep. you look at it that way. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's not going to stop. Plus, you're paying somebody else's mortgage instead of yourself yes. instead of your own. So. Correct. It's not so good. So we have, um, let's go into the second mortgages. And then we have one other thing too, which is I really definitely want to get into. And we're, we're going to go a little over time because I want to go into the, some of these things. Let's do the, let's do the cash offer strategies first in case we don't have enough time for second mortgages. Yeah. Um, and we could always grab second mortgages next time. You know, if you've been in the real estate market uh, mm-hmm. in the last 12, 24 months, what you know and understand is that you find this house, 
It's the perfect home. Yep. You, you go in you and you find out that there's multiple offers. And when we say multiple, 10, 15, 10, 15, <laughs> not two or three. No, you know, multiple is a different and, thing these days. You know, and everybody knows yep. that there's multiple offers. So everybody's mm-hmm. coming in with their best offer. They're not messing around anymore. No yep. one's offering lower than the sale price, which is why, you know, the average percent list price to receive is like 101%, Amazing, 102%, right? something like that. That's actually the norm. Yeah. So, um, so people are trying to come up with different ways mm-hmm. to succeed. And, um, um, you know, it, when I'm talking to, to customers, some people are trying to figure out how do we make a cash offer? So some, yeah. some are, um, some people have the cash. Yep. Um, some people are, are literally going to like 401k yep. and they're borrowing that. Uh, and then they have like, I think they have like 90 days to pay it back, yep. put it back and they're without maybe penalties their house and things will sell yeah. Yeah. or something like that. Just, just to, just to make a cash offer and win. Mm-hmm. Um, so one of the things that Animac is doing is they've actually created a uh, program um, that they're kind of partnering up with the people and allowing them to make a cash offer. Um, so they'll, they'll come in and say, okay, we've pre-qualified these people yep. and they want to make an offer on this home for this amount of money. And they'll actually allow them to make a cash offer. They'll, they'll basically buy the house for them in cash and then Amazing. turn around and, and, and sell it right back to them. Uh, and then they get a mortgage at that point. But to the seller, it's something that's uh, yeah, it's already done. You know, it seems extreme, but like it's it's a tool that you know we have available that um, uh, I think is going to may take some tra- you know get some traction over the year. Now, when does that start? Are you doing those now? So it's we're doing it in New Jersey right now. Okay, test market um, testing it out. Yep. Um, the reason that we're doing it in New Jersey is because there's no transfer tax in New Jersey. Gotcha. You know, we're doing a couple transactions here. We're we're buying the house from the seller yeah. first, and then we're turning around and selling it. Yeah. So there's like three transfer taxes in there. Yeah. So, the, so we ha- so we'd have to like figure that out. Figure that out. Yeah. Because there's money. So there's going to be a cost. Yeah. Of course. Um, in Everything comes with a cost. Yeah. But here's the thing. You know, if it means <laughs> here's the thing. If it means that you get the house. Yeah. Because a lot of times, also when an offer's cash, you Let's just back up. If I have two offers, one's conventional, one's cash. Okay. The conventional one realistically could actually be higher yep. by ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. And I can tell you right now, if I'm if I'm representing the seller and I got a cash offer and it's there's a five thousand, maybe eight thousand dollar difference, I'm telling them to take the cash. Right. Because things can change yep. when you're getting a mortgage. Yep. You know, and you could lose a job. Somebody could something could happen. When it's cash. It's definitely a little different. So therefore, yeah. if you have to pay a couple of transfer taxes or a couple of fees, yeah. you're really only at where the conventional person was anyway. Correct. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, so that's the way I look at it. There's obviously going to be a lot of details and things in, that are going to go on in that. And and what you can do maybe when you come back is as that progresses and you actually start seeing them happen in Pennsylvania, maybe we can throw some scenarios up on the screen yeah. and show you how it really worked for somebody. What was the sure. real cost? Yeah. You know, and what was the benefit? That's the other thing you have to look at. What's the benefit? The benefit is you get a house. Yeah. And, and in today's win. market, that's yeah. huge. Right. You know? I mean, and some people are paying way over list oh. price. Right. And maybe, yes. maybe in this scenario, you may not have to. Yeah. Right? And yeah, there's, there's a, there's a cost, but, um, and, and it'll also, there's a, another program where they'll allow the people to buy now and then sell their house. Like some people are, yeah. oh, I have a house to sell. Yeah. I mean, this market's so crazy that if you have a house to sell, yeah. you may not win because you're, you're making your new offer contingent upon you Absolutely. selling your house. And now the sellers in the business are selling your house. Like, uh, and and, and what's wanna, funny, deal with that, that happens a lot. If yeah. you have, if you throw a contingency of a house sale contingency on an offer yeah. today, yeah. It, there's so many things today that are, if it's on an offer that become like this black cloud I know. that years ago be, be like, ah, no, that's great. That's a great offer. You know, yeah. it's just, it's a shame because there's a lot of people, FHA, VA that are not able to, to purchase as, as easily today, yeah. um, is, as they were before in the, in, you know, in the past. So, um, so go ahead, get, let's yeah. go ahead and give me a couple more points that you have here or a couple yeah. of other things we, and we're going to have to wrap it up. Yeah. Sounds good. So, I mean, it sounds like we're we're really selling this real estate market as being this amazing experience and like, yeah, it does, <laughs> but the, yeah, it's the, still what, good market. So, so, you know, the silver lining yeah. is, you know, why do you want to buy a house? Because look, look, I mean, you, you probably would have made, Oh my gosh, 15 to 20% if you would have bought last year. Absolutely. It's, you know, is it going to continue? It looks like it, it is going to continue. Oh yeah. I think uh, we're, we're, we're seeing, I mean, the numbers that I look at are seven to 8%. So yeah. jump in now. Because yep. last year, if you didn't jump in, you lost 11%. Yep. 
It's like anything. The best time to buy real estate, they always say best time to buy real estate is right now. Correct. Because there's, we know the market right now. We know what was behind us, but we don't know what's forward. Yep. So buy right now, you yep. know, because typically it's an upside from there. Correct. Typically, yep. you know, so. Um, I mean, in the U.S., homeowners yeah. made $56,700 last amazing? year in the increase in values on, on national average. Um, in Pennsylvania, which is probably what our people care yep. about $30,000 on average. Unbelievable. Yep. That talk about an investment. Yeah. I mean, you're not making that anywhere else. Right. Right. Amazing. So, awesome. So that's why we, we go through all this pain, but so hopefully you're going to come back and see me again sometime, uh, maybe in a month or so. And, yeah, exactly. uh, we'll go over more stuff. I love the detail, love the information, love, uh, that you, you, you definitely know your stuff and it's good to hear. And, uh, and I think I'll be seeing you in Florida in a couple of weeks, actually. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. We're both heading down there. We got the Keller Williams convention coming up called family reunion. I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, I want to thank you for coming out with all the information, yeah. man. I appreciate, me. I appreciate you're, it. You're very welcome. All right, there you go. Mike Bauer, first time on the show from Annie Mac Mortgage. And man, talk about a lot of information. It's unbelievable how much information. So uh, yeah, so we're going to be bringing in some more people uh, next week and the week after. And Hugo's going to get this thing going even better than it was before. Right, Hugo? That's right. All right, cool, man. See you later. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.